Setting limit switches on the AMA non-intrusive electric actuator. We have our selector switch. We have our push buttons. When the selector switch is in local, we have our open, stop, and close, and reset. When the actuator is in the off position, we can use the same push buttons for programming. We have our up, our down, our enter, and our clear. So I'm going to set my close limit switch. And so I'm going to take my actuator to my closed position. Although the actuator physically says it's closed, the valve is not closed. So now with the valve in the closed position, I'm going to push the reset button for approximately five seconds. Then I'm going to push my enter button until I go to the login screen. From the login screen, I'm going to use my down button and I'm going to go down to get the specialist and I'm going to push enter and the specialist password is 0000. So I'm just going to push enter, 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 and enter. Then I'm going to go down to customer settings. I'm going to push enter. Then I'm going to go down to limit switching. And I'm going to go and push enter. Now I could set either one, open or close first. Does, the actuator doesn't care, but since my valve is in the closed position, I'm going to push enter. And now it's a question. Do I want to set the closed position here? And the answer to that is yes. Down on the bottom of the screen, there's a little guide that tells you what the push buttons are going to do. So the third push button down, one, two, three, which is my enter button, is my yes. So now my closed position is set. I'm going to push the reset button for one time. I'm going to go down to open. I'm going to push my enter button. And now I don't want to set my position here. I can either hand crank my valve to the open position or I can put the actuator in local and push my open button and run my actuator open. Watching my valve, when I get near the open position, I'm going to stop it using my selector switch. I'm going to use the hand wheel to finish driving the valve to the open position. I always want to have the selector switch in the off position for programming. I'm going to enter for yes. Now my open position is set. If there's no further settings that need to be done, if there are, I just go through the screen and decide what I need to set up. I'm just going to go back out to the main screen, put my actuator in local, run it close a little bit, stop it, run it open, make sure that my open position is where I want it, then I'm going to run the actuator close. And if I'm happy with my closed position, my limit switch settings are complete.